Hey, what's up you guys, Mirror D here, and we are finally here with the Pokemon Masters League video, week two. So we are facing the Rhode Island Russia Rams. They are also, I think, zero and one. Check, check out the standings down below at the Pokemon Masters League uh, site down below. You can also see the original replay and the, uh, the playlist where you can also find the other Pokemon Showdown battles. There will also be a little something at at the end of the video, so stick around after that. So anyway, let's just get this off and started. First, we're going to show off the teams a little bit. So my team is very, is, you know, designed to counter team a little bit, you know, team build around the six. Well, I started off with uh, Ferrothorn. Uh, it was just there to set up rocks and be annoying to my opponent. Uh, I also had brought Mottweil along to counter uh, the Mega... Uh, Altaria there, and it actually did really well against his team. Soccer punching things, play rough, hurts all, like th half of his members. Actually, it hurts all of his members. He had no real fairy resist. Um, I have Politoed with me. I like rain. <laughs> As you see, I draft. It was my first thing drafted. I also had Tornadus with me. Uh, I beat. Uh, helped me kind of beat him down, whittle him. And I also have brought the Bronx Bear Tick. Uh, I thought, like, hey, he has a lot of dragons and a lot of things weak to ice. So I brought Bear Tick along because Ice Look Stab, Ice Look Crash can do a lot. And then I brought Spirit to him as the last member. It was either between this character and Blissey. So let's just uh, continue. So we, I lead Ferrothorn, grind on me, and he leads Goth to tell. Uh, I was trapped, and he set up some Magic Coat as I Thunder Wave myself, unfortunately. I didn't go for Rock's first turn because I know. That's rock, because that thing gets magic coat and all that. He goes for uh, magic coat again, expecting rocks, I guess. But uh, he switches out finally and goes into Rotom as I get my uh, as I get paralyzed, actually. <laughs> but uh, reflect happens. I set up my rocks, so I, was like, I get free rocks. He has no spinners on him. He volts switches eight percent, like zero damage at all. He goes into his Crookedong, which I didn't know was scarfed at the moment, but. Even Scarf Crookedong does not take me down at all because I just sleet seated him. But I decided to switch into Big Burb, uh, get some initiative because I thought he was going to go for Earthquake most likely, but he sets up his own rocks. But he goes into Rotom Wash, which is a decent play, but I decided to knock off. Uh, I'm going to U turn out on this turn, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to U turn out, get more initiative, and then I think my switch is Ferrothorn, as it is Ferrothorn. Uh, I'm not really worried about Rotomosh. He tries to will me and it fails because I'm paralyzed. You can't dual stat at someone that's be broke, that'd be broken as hell as I get le some leech seed off him. And yeah, that's nice. He has a Leafeon, and I don't know what Leafeon does here. I just gyro ball it, does a hell of a lot. Uh, he's gonna set up sword stances and I don't know how that's gonna help him. But unfortunately I'm paralyzed on that turn. If I would have gotten uh, this Thunder Wave off earlier, I think it would have helped me out. So now he's slower, but he decides to knock me off, and he's going to take a lot of damage from Rocky Helmet, Iron Barbs, and Life Orb, and it still didn't knock me out. So I'm hoping on his Paralyze, unfortunately, but I do get my Gyro Wall off, which does hella damage, because there was a Reflect up, right? Reflect was down, so I did a 46. But he gets another knockoff and takes more damage. I'm fine with that. Life Orb and Rocky Helmet, that's fine. I'm going to go easily into Torn and just outspeed and kill this thing with a U-turn. I could have gone for anything else, but I didn't want to reveal like my, some of the moves I had, like Icy Wind, Knockoff, Hurricane. Any of the one of those was not okay. So I finally get to switch in Bubblegum. So he, he thinks he's probably safe with his Rotom Wash, as I reveal... I am bulky enough to live with Thunderbolt, and I hit, hit reveal Hidden Power Grass to take out the Riddle Wash. I am Choice Specs Bubblegum, and it unfortunately did not help me in this situation because his Crookedong just decides to Stone Edge, and I was like, okay, he Stone Edges me, kills me. I go into Bear Tick after this. He gets a Moxie Boost because I thought I thought I outspeed him, but I, little did I know he Scarfed Crocodile, which really sucks. <laughs> so. That's unfortunate. I could have gotten an Aqua Jet off, so I go into Molina. <laughs> nice Molina, and I'm gonna intimidate him down. And he took a pretty a long time to take his moves. Uh, I went straight for a Sword Stance, and I should have just suckered here because I didn't. I thought he was gonna either like trick me or 
uh, do some sort of status, but he just goes straight out for the Psychic. And I click Play Rough, and it does knock it out. He has re no real switch in into the to Play Rough anyway. So he brings in Hydreigon. Uh, it naturally outspeeds me, because I'm like base 50, and then Hydreigon's like, oh lord. Very fast, and decently fast. He goes for Flamethrower, is lo shows the Life Orb. So uh, Life Orb Hydreigon. Uh, Ermac comes in. <laughs> I decided to plane split because I thought he was gonna either dark pulse me, so I would take a lot of health. I would live and you know, thing done with me. And unfortunately, this miss really matters right here. Uh, <laughs> I get I miss my will against this Mega Altaria, which would have been so good to burn a Mega Altaria. But I still have Montwile and Tornadoes with me, so I think that combination does take out uh, this team because Montwile is extremely uh, good against this team because he has. Things like Crocodile, Hydreigon, and Altaria, who are all weak to Fairy, and do not like a, a play rough. Even with like no real, I don't think I don't I don't remember the spread on this Mawile, but I, it was something really good. It was mostly it was mostly defensive, but I think I had some attack investment, but I don't think I did. But I go in right in the torn. He flamethrowers me. It does a lot of damage. Uh, I'm going straight for the Hurricane here. I didn't think either Icy Wind or U-Turn was going to cut it for me, so I just went for straight for your, uh, Hurricane. And I obviously outspeed a Mega Altaria. I go for Icy Wind to slow it down. And I'm just down to... <laughs> and he takes out my Torn, unfortunately. As I go right into Mottweil. And uh, I secure this game by lowering his speed and attack by one stage. Earthquake does not kill me. I'm defensive Mottweil. And I just click the iron head button, and I take it with a strict, with a very close 1-0. Good game to the Rhode Island Russia Rams. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thumbs up if you think that was the closest match I'll probably ever have. Uh, I did improve, but I did. Some plays were a little off. I like not knowing the crocodile was scarfed when I. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe aqua jetting the. Uh, Crocodile might not have taken it out, but <laughs> Bear Tick's very strong. I think he would have like killed it at that range. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, one more thing before we end this video. Uh, click a number between 1 and 16 to either see one of these replays you want to see. I have... I obviously just said I have 16 of them. But just <laughs> click a, or comment down below a number you want to see. It's random. I don't remember like <laughs> mostly any of these battles. So yeah, comment down below on what battle you, replay you want to see, and I hope to see you guys next time for the next Pokemon Masters League. Bye bye.